In this Oracle on Docker series segment, I'm demonstrating how to use the volume option when creating a database container. The docker run commands dash v flag tells docker to use a directory on your local machine as the mount point for a file system in a container. It's a way to expose host resources to containers without baking them into the image or copying them into the container's file system. It behaves much like an NFS mount or file share, and both host and container can read and write files directly. Now I can use this to create a new file system in a container for perhaps staging data, for data pump or installation files. I can also mount a file system inside a container to a host directory. I'll first create a new container and mount the NFS file system to a local directory on my host, Docker NFS. If I look, I see that that NFS mount point is there. And if I navigate to that file system, I can create a file, edit that file, and from my host, I see that same file exists. And I can edit it there as well. Here I've created a brand new file system in my container that I might use for staging data pump or installation files, but I can also mount an existing file system to a directory on my host. An example of that is the opt oracle oradata directory. This directory contains all of my database files, and ordinarily it would live inside my container and the container's files are stored on the Docker desktop virtual disk. Well, the virtual disk has a limited amount of space, and by moving these database files, I'm moving the majority of my database installation outside of the virtual disk and onto my local file system. But there's another added benefit as well. Here I have a running container for a database, O193. If I were to remove that container, the files that were created for that container are deleted along with it because containers are ephemeral. I've mounted the opt oracle oradata file system to a directory on my local host. So even though I deleted my container, these files still exist. Now here's a neat trick. All of the files that were part of the oracle database in the container that I just deleted are preserved on my local file system. Therefore, if I run the same command again and check the logs as it starts, I see that it jumps straight to starting and opening my database. Why does it do this? When you start a container for an Oracle database in Docker, the first thing that it does is go out and check to see if a database already exists. Because we mounted an existing set of database files, to the opt oracle or a data file system in the container that we just started, it went out and it found those files from the previous incarnation of this database. Because those files were there, Docker said, I already have a database. I'm gonna skip straight ahead and start my listener and start the database. It bypassed the entire database creation process. This comes in handy because we can leverage this to instantly create new databases and move database files from one database container to another. I'll describe that in another video in this series. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you'll be the first to know about new videos I post about running Oracle databases on Docker. Thanks.